What if you could use your VR headset to create motion capture for video games and movies so you didn't have to keyframe stuff? You just put on your headset and move your arms around and you're done. Well, that's what Glycon does, and I'm going to show you how that works now. In this case, I'm going to be using an Oculus Quest 2. So this is Glycon. Uh, as you can see, I can see my hands here. I have a mirror in front of me, and I've got my headset on, and so I can see basically what you're seeing here. And I can move my hands around stuff, uh, and it moves the hands on the person in front of me. I can move this control panel around by using one of the buttons on the left controller. And here are some instructions on this side, and on this side there are more detailed instructions. Okay, so also at the top there are these buttons. If I drag that little white sphere across the buttons, it will go to different screens. For example, here I can change the background. So now we have an unlimited area for me to just kind of wander around in if I wanted to. And I can also import my own arenas if I wanted to bring in like a, a different scene. So here I can change all kinds of settings about the avatar and about the IK. I can change the scale, scale of the arms, size of the arms, legs, torso, everything. I can change how movement works. And that's all on the IK section. And then here is the brush section. I can use this voxel editor to actually create uh, stuff that I'm going to act against if I wanted to. So I could create like a stand-in of something. And then I can export that as an OBJ and bring that into my graphics program. And then here we have some poses. Well, we just have sit and stand, it's not very exciting. Here we have props. If I wanted to, I could bring in my own props and then I could use them. So. Here is the live mode. In live mode, you can also bring in things like your own audio, and you can move the stop button, and this will be kind of important later. You can also create a clone of yourself that will replay an animation. So if you wanted to play out a scene or act out a scene, you could record that and then stick it on the clone and then re-record your new animation so you're interacting with that other animation. And here again, we could put the props in. Now this is important. If you're gonna record something, you need to go in here first, Probably move that stop sign around. Go in here first and um, make sure you've set it to use the format that you want to record it in. This is an important first step. So in this case, uh, we're going to choose, let's say, let's say um, BVH. All right. And so now I just hit the start recording button. It's going to give me a countdown. Three, two, one. I start recording it. I'm going to act out my scene, do whatever I want. Everything is going to be recorded. When I hit the stop button, it stops recording. Easy as that. And brings back up my, my HUD. So what I want to do is I want to pull up the HUD and then I'm going to go over here to export it. And in this case, I want to enhance it for Unreal Engine 4 and then hit export. And boom, it's done. And that's all it takes. Since I'm using an Oculus Quest 2, all I have to do right now is pull up the Android file transfer app. On Windows, it'll just be the regular Windows Explorer. And here I'm going to go to Android, Data, uh, this com.chilton web thing, then Files, then Glycon Files and then go in here and you'll see all of the files that I just recorded. In this case, I recorded some raw ones, which are CSVs, some SV, FBX, and some uh, BVH files. Here's the arenas folder. That's where I put my other arenas. Audio, where I put my audio. And down under props is where I'd put props. These are for if I wanted to bring stuff into Glycon. In this case, I want to get stuff out, so we're just going to drag all the stuff out here. And if I open one of these B, uh, FBX files, you'll see this. Um, it's going to be a, a just a square, and you may think, well, this is wrong. But actually, Glycon exports the animations, and then it animates, it exports this one little square to get around an issue in Unreal where it won't let me um, import an animation unless it has a mesh. So you can ignore the square, and if you were to pull up the bone view, you would see that the animation is there. So here's the skeleton, and as you can see, if I hit play, it's going to play out that animation. And that's all there is to it. So I can take this into Unreal, and I can use the retargeting feature there uh, to retarget this animation directly onto another character. For more information, go to glycon3d.com, and you will find all of the latest information on the product. And if you are a member, head over to the Members Only section and enter the password that you're given in your members only email. And that will take you directly to the latest uh, betas and other news about the product that is for members only. Thank you and have a great day.